today. I hope that you are all having nice days. Hello, gaming fan. Hello, Ali. Hello, Ludwig. Hello, Christina. Just woke up. Me too, Christina. Don't worry. I also just woke up. <laughs> it's early this morning. I got you. It's so early morning. But we're here. We're chilling. We're ready to have some fun today. Hello, Siren. Good morning, my friend. Hello, Lucy. How are you doing today, Lucy? Just opened uh, The Sims for the first time in a week. Nice, Ludwig. I went on a Sims, uh, like, burnout. Good morning, Allie. Hello, Nina. Hello, hello, hello. After eating a very late lunch, I went on a Sims, like, opposite of a binge. A Sims no playing. A Sims anti-play. I don't know what you want to call it. I went through a, what do I call it normally? A Sims burnout? I don't know. I didn't play The Sims for a while. And then I've been playing like this week, like every single day, like building like literally a full thing, like every single day. I'm like, oh boy, uh, I got a lot of content to share. <laughs> I think I'm sitting on literally like six or seven speed builds, um, which is crazy 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 um oh i forgot i'm gonna do a shout out if you guys don't know siren is a lovely lovely uh streamer that i met on clubhouse please go check them out um they're awesome please give them a follow check them out hello okay yoon till i hope that's right how are we doing today friend um oh thank you siren i appreciate you yes it's easy to make the content the difficult part is editing and uh, posting and all that stuff, which I haven't done yet, hence why I'm sitting on so many projects right now. But it's okay, it's okay, I'll get there eventually. I always say, so I'm like super ADHD. Hello, Sig! Hi, friend! I'm like super ADHD and I'm not medicated, so when I sit down at my computer, I just do whatever I can do that day. So if my brain that day is like, I wanna work, let's bang out and edit like five videos, like I'll do that. Sometimes I don't wanna work at all and I just make content and that's fine too. And I just allow myself to kind of do whatever works for me that day, whatever I'm feeling. Um, and so yes, eventually I will get to the video editing. I've just been in a Sims playing mood. So I feel that Christina, yes, just do what you can. Just be nice to yourself and do, I have like a long to-do list and I just pull it up and I'm like, what sounds fun today? What sounds fun? I'll do that. So it's a good way to keep myself from getting tired from making content. It helps it feel much less like a job and still like something that's a fun hobby. So it's very helpful. Um, of course, Siren, I appreciate you. You're freaking awesome. I love you. You deserve all the shout outs. Um, I'm on meds and it messes me up. The side effects are so bad. I feel you, Allie. I was on meds from age 6 to age 22. So, very long time. And, uh, yes, I know all about the ADHD medication side effects. Some of them, I've been off meds now for a very long time. Oh, Elo Milo. Thank you for the follow, friend. How are you doing today? Welcome to the Fluffy Friends. I love your username. Um... My Sims just got married and I might have cried a little. Not That's not odd or anything. There's a girl who I follow on Twitter. Her name is Abby, Abby Whimsy Alien, I think is her at. And she has like a legacy family and she's been posting them for like years. And I literally watch them and like look at her photos and like I cry all the time. I get so emotional. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's totally fine to get emotional over the Sims. There's nothing wrong with that. My daughter's grandparents make her take ADH meds. I absolutely hate it, yes. It um it can be good, like I understand like why my parents did it, like you know. Hello Blair, good morning friend, welcome, welcome. I understand why, thank you for the host friend. I understand why my parents did it, like I'm not mad at them or anything for putting me on meds as a kid, you know. Um, but I always say if I have a kid who has ADHD, I will not be putting them on meds. Oh my gosh, three, three months. months! Crazy. Dana, that is so crazy. I think you're my longest sub, Dana. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, that's so crazy. Um, so, um, I don't remember what I was saying. Meds. I will not be putting my kids on ADHD meds. I will figure out a way. Um, my cousin's granddad got buried today. I'm sorry, Ludwig. Hopefully they're doing okay. Hopefully you can be nice little support for your, for your, um, cousin. Wait, but your cousin's granddad, doesn't that make that your great uncle? I think that does make that your great uncle, Ludwig. I'm not 100% positive, 
but I'm pretty sure that would be a great uncle, I think. Right? Ah, oh, so cute. Hugs, Dinosaur. They feel all warm and squishy inside now. <laughs> it's so cute. I love that you guys do it with a hug all the time. Um, Blair, also, I've been posting in Discord when I'm streaming. So if you check the Discord and just the just chatting, I've been posting there when I'm going streaming. But each week now, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the same time. So it should be pretty easy for you. I didn't update my schedule on Twitch. So if you're getting confused, um, that could be why. And I apologize. <laughs> but yes, yeah, schedule is Monday through Friday. I mean, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at this same time. So Dana, the biggest thing. Hello, Leah. Sorry I missed your hi. How are you doing today, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, you have, you haven't met him or you have only met him once, Ludwig? Hopefully, either way, take care today. Take care of family, be with family. Um, what do you suggest instead of meds for ADHD? Um, a lot of things. You can get an ADHD coach, which is really helpful. Oh, it's okay, Christina. Don't worry at all. You never have to apologize, friend. I know you guys got lives and stuff. <laughs> That's okay, Blair. Um, just to get me back on topic, um, instead of ADHD meds, you can get an ADHD coach, which is like somebody that is made to just like help you cope without meds and will give you tips and tricks. Um, you can do a lot of reading and self implementing if you're the kind of person who can do like self help. There's a lot of different coping mechanisms and skills that you can learn to make sure that you stay on top of your stuff. Being organized is key, like getting a planner, like being really diligent. It's, it's definitely a lot of work, but you can totally do it. My number one thing though, <laughs> you're going to hate this Dana. My number one thing if you want to, if you want to be successful without ADHD meds is you got to exercise. <laughs> I swear it just like keeps my brain clear like so much clearer uh, than than anything so um, it's like the number one thing you can do I think if you have ADHD is like exercise so that you're tired once a day but Dana you can start with the self-help stuff and like do some reading and um, going on walks is fabulous getting outside time I think is really important um, Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really a fan of behavioral health therapy. Me too. Me too. I don't dock meds. Sometimes meds are exactly what you need. I always say this. There's nothing against people who take meds. Sometimes meds is what you need to get through. I obviously did that for years. I understand what it's like. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. We love you. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't knock, you know, anybody, you got to do what you got to do. But I personally, now that I'm an adult, I'm like, I have learned coping mechanisms. I can do what I need to do. Luckily, my job allows me to not have to like sit at a computer for 10 hours a day. Cause I think I need meds if I had to do that. Um, so having a job that's like, you know, a little more flexible allows you to, to have ADHD and not be medicated. Um, and then just like learning things that you can do in your own life to help you. Yesterday I watched all of season six and seven of Gilmore Girls. I love it so much. Gonna be watching like the 2016 four episodes that year. And Gilmore Girls soon just wanted to catch up. That's so cute. Gotta go poo. Thanks, Christina. <laughs> I love your honesty. We do talk about poo a lot in here, so <laughs> that's so funny. Ooh, when I laugh, my ear itched. That was so weird. That was really freaky. I, when I laughed, it like my inside of my ear itched and I did not like that at all. It felt really weird. You love Gilmore Girls, so I maybe I need to rewatch it because I haven't watched it since it was, you know, online. I mean, like aired. And I never really liked it that much. Um, but maybe I would like it now. I'm shedding hair everywhere. Why do I have so much shedding hair? My hair is falling out. When I burn out in the sins, I download CC. My cousin does drawing and art to help distract him as he has ADHD. That's another really good thing. Doing something creative, doing art, um, doing something with your hands or you're making something is really, really good. Um, I'm downloading CC for Sims 4, but I can't find good Max's match. Um, do you know who this person is on TSR? Or... It, that's their Instagram if you look them up on Instagram oh no it's Rava Sheen I think on Instagram 
Um, or you may already know her. She's got great stuff. She's got great stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Thank you. The last couple of seasons, Gilmore Girls are not the best. Uh, well, if I check it out, I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, yes, Ravasheen makes great Maxis Match CC. Some of my favorite. Um, also, like, is it Harry, I think? Like, spelled like that? Who does, like, the bathroom stuff? And... Do you guys know who I'm talking about? Bathroom and all that stuff. It's Harry something. I don't know. There's some... Everyone I know that does CC I find on Twitter. Um, <laughs> Illogical Sims has some good stuff too. My favorite floors and walls were always by Praline Sims. I don't know if that's how you say it. Grim Cookies. What kind of stuff does Grim Cookies make, Ludwig? I follow Grim on Twitter, but I don't know. Um, false alarm. My tummy hurts. I'm so sorry. Which plushie do you want, Blair? I Did that work? Hopefully the bot is working today. You're, are you playing The Sims today? I am playing The Sims. Sorry, Blair. I got to change that. There you go. Um, <laughs> I made it so I don't have to read them out loud anymore. I was like, why do I do that? I literally have to stand up and be like, which one do you want? Every time. And now it's easy. You can just pick from the list. <laughs> so fun. So fun. Um, yes, we're going to be playing. Well, we're going to be looking at the Purple Fun Collabs, um, which is a collab I'm a part of from Instagram. That, um, my build is so bad. Oh my lord, my hair is looking a hot mess. I feel you. Cass, he just made a WandaVision outfit. What? Grim Cookies? Okay, that's pretty cool. I like WandaVision. How many people in the chat are watching WandaVision? I feel like I need more light. I'm so blue. Um... How many people are Snorlax? <laughs> I don't want to grab. Oh, wait, I did put that in there. God damn it. It's so big, Blair. Why did I list that? Why did I list it? I should make this like a special point redemption. Ludwig wants me to make a point redemption that's just like 10k for nothing. WandaVision is bay. Splatoon 3. Yes, Ludwig. We know. We are excited. We want Splatoon 3. Um, did you get to watch the video of the T-Rex? Did you tag me in something on Facebook? I haven't checked Facebook in a couple days. I'll check it after stream and check it out. I love seeing all your snow photos, though. That was so fun. And that uh, your kids were in the news. That was cool. Good skinny jeans. Ooh. My hair is getting all muffed up now. On my Facebook. I will check it out, Christina. <laughs> it's huge. It is really big, Blair. It's massive. My hair is going everywhere. No spoilers for me yet. No spoilers. No spoilers. Um, also, I didn't watch it yet today, so please no spoilers because you guys are ahead of me in your time zone. I got to figure out a way to squish this down here. There we go. Okay. That works. That works. Um, yes. Obsessed. No spoilers. Please. Haven't seen it yet today. You guys are, you guys are ahead of me, if you know. I want to know your exciting news, Blair. Let's go. Hit me. What's your exciting news? Also, what the heck? There we go. Okay. I was like, what happened to my vape? Going on my walk now. It was nice watching for a little bit. Bye. Hopefully, I'll be back. Bye, Hannah. Oh, where are you going to, Blair? That's exciting. Where are you going? That's always fun. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I get it if you don't want to tell us out loud. I watched it at lunchtime. I hate the standby screen. What's the standby screen? In Wanda Vision. I don't know what that means. What is that? If you watch the whole video, it's a T-Rex sledding against my boyfriend's hand on the news. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta check it out. I saw a little bit of it, but I didn't see the T-Rex. <laughs> That's amazing. In the T-Rex costume, I'm assuming. My cousin, um, she has like six kids. She, they all were T-Rexes one year for Halloween. It comes up just before the credits. Oh, why don't you like it, Dana? Is it creepy? Is it too creepy? <laughs> on the TV screen. Okay. I can't wait to watch today's episode. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. We have three more episodes left, right? There's nine total. I really hope that they make more shows like this. I want a show of Jimmy Woo, the guy who is like the investigator with Darcy. Is that her name? I want the guy, I want I want him to have his own show where he's just like an investigating weird Marvel stuff. You should 100% watch WandaVision Ludwig. It's really good if you like Marvel. 
if you don't like Marvel, it's definitely a little bit like, I don't know. If you don't like Marvel, I, it's, I mean, it's like a Marvel show. It's, it, it makes a lot more sense if you know and like Marvel. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, but I think it's still an okay show if you don't like Marvel. There might just be some things that might not make as much sense to you. Um, but it's really good. It's a really, really, really good show. Um, I'm redoing the Not So Berry Challenge for like the fourth time and I finally made it to the Rose Generation. Leah, that's amazing. I know nothing about Not So Berry. Um, I didn't like the first episode, but now I love it. I was in on the first episode. I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I am here for it. Even though I don't like the actress... That's okay. That's okay, Siren. I appreciate you so much. I don't love the actress. Like, in the Marvel movies, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but Wanda and Pedro are... You were in right away, too. It's so good. It's so good. Wanda and Pedro are... Like, if you watch the first movie... This bothers me so much, and I don't know why it happens. If you watch the first movie with them in it, they have accents. Like, they speak like they're Russian. The second movie... They get like a little bit less of an accent. It is on purpose. Why? And then the third movie, they have no accent. And then I noticed that they made a joke about it in WandaVision. She goes to Petro, what happened to your accent? And he goes, what happened to yours? And it's so funny. I'm like, why did they do that? Why did they make them have accents? And then realize like through the movie, like they were bad. They were not good accents. It was not like the actors and actresses were like, we're so good at that. They were like pretty bad Russian accents. So I'm like, did they just say like, we're going to spare you as actors and actresses and not make you do these shitty fake accents anymore? I don't know. I have no idea. I want to know why did they start with the accents and then they're gone and they're and i don't i don't understand it's really annoying it bothers me so much it's such a stupid little thing but like why make them have why make them have the accents i don't know and then take them away it's so weird it was like a slow takeaway like it, it i don't know I, we do play Among Us Unicorn Lover. I was actually thinking, Lucy, that we would... I kind of understand because it's really important to their characters in the origin story in the comics that they're Romani. I know. So, like, why take it away? I don't get it. Why, I, you know, why get rid of it if it's important? Like, would you... If you say you... Say, say I move to the UK. Would I ever talk with a British accent at some point? I think that's what it was. I, that's my guess, too. It's like you, you were like, wow, this is so bad that you couldn't take them seriously, um, which is sad that they couldn't get the accents. Um, but like, yeah, if I moved to the UK, would I ever speak with a British accent? Like, does your accent go away or do you get do you get accents if you move somewhere? She talks about it in an interview. They made up the accents because they were from a fake country, so the accents are unique to them. People can slowly lose their accents when in a new country, but for this, they are in a fake world, and it's in being part of a fake suburban mom for her. Oh, interesting. J yeah, the whole treatment siren I'm with you was just like, come on. It's a little weird. Hello, my aunt. Hi, my sweet friend. How are you doing today? That's what I'm saying. Like, do you ever, can you ever gain or lose an accent? So funny. My sister in college was friends with a girl. I say friends loosely, it was like an acquaintance. And she had gone to study abroad in the UK in college for a year. And she came back with a full-fledged British accent. And she still talks with a British accent like to this day. And she hasn't been to England for like 10 years. And I'm like, homegirl, we all know that you don't really talk with a British accent. Why are you doing this? Why I don't, it's not like a mental health problem. Is that something? I don't know. I don't know. Hello, hello, hello. I have Among Us on PC and mobile. We should do an Among Us day again. I will organize it in the Discord if you're not in the Discord. Um, I don't understand anything, Ludwig. <laughs> you make me laugh, friend. Ah, stretch time. Elizabeth Olsen seems to be really into the character before and is invested in being true to character. I love it. Sig, I used to play only on my phone too, but now I have it on Switch. Ugh. 
The gaming chair is a really good device to help you stretch. Oh, hey, aunt. Ah. Ah. Okay. Thank you for the stretch. Ooh. Ooh, feels so good. I gotta fix my hair. It's driving me bonkers. I have it on my phone only. Can I still play Among Us on my phone when y'all are on PC? 100% sick. I play on Switch. It's all crossplay, which is really, really, really nice. So you can play on whatever device you want and you can still play with us. So many people I know fake my accent but so badly and try to tell me it's real. Because I'm from Scotland, I ask them where in Scotland they're from and they say London. I was like, sis. Yeah. I don't, I was going to say, so when people can lose their accents after years, they can turn into a hybrid accent. Like, yeah, you can't completely get rid of your accent, could you? Like, you'd have to try. You'd have to work at it. I don't know. This is so interesting to me. When you go home and talk to people with your accent and then your accent becomes stronger again. Yes, that happens to people here. My grandma was from Maine. And whenever she would talk to her brother or her sister on the phone, she would start talking with a Maine accent again. She'd say, ka. That's the only thing I can say. I don't know anything about Maine. My grandma's long gone, so. But anyways, I'm in the Discord. Yay, Lucy. Um, yeah, whenever she would talk on the phone, her accent would get real strong again. I know I pick up accents from living in Hawaii. I'm so jealous you live in Hawaii. That's so awesome. But the various Asian accents and pidgin are treated more like dialects. That makes sense. And I think that's part of the problem. They're treated like dialects because we never really hear Wanda or Pedro speaking in their native language. Almost makes it harder to believe the accent use. That makes sense. You got your COVID jab. Yay, good job, Maya. I'm so excited for you. I'm a little bit jealous. I want my COVID jab. Like mine changed, then I went home and it took months to stop being so strong. That's so funny. That's really interesting. I, um, Siren lives in Hawaii, Ludwig. They live in Hawaii. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, wait, are you, wait, do you live in Hawaii now? Do you still live in Hawaii? Because if you still live in Hawaii now, it's, uh, like so early in the morning like really early i don't remember if you said you still live there now though um uh my mom got hers on wednesday that's so good dana um christina i've been trying to do better about getting in the discord daily so um that's uh yes i've been working on it and i and i think other people hopefully have oh, okay cool, cool cool that's what i thought i was like wait a second if you live in hawaii now it's like six in the morning so you are a trooper um when I was younger, I lived in Texas, but now I live in Wisco, and I say y'all like all the time. I say y'all a lot too, especially online. I say y'all all the time online. It's like how I just refer to a group of people. It's so much easier because it's non-gendered, so you you can call anyone y'all. You call a whole group of people y'all. Doesn't matter. Um, yes, from Hawaii, not lives in Hawaii. Correction. <laughs> no need to be jealous, Ludwig. Also, Ludwig, you live in the freaking Netherlands, right? Dinita Land. Is that, am I right on that? Is that the correct thing? Is that the same thing? Ludwig, help me. Do you live in the Netherlands? Is that the same? Am I confused? Is the Netherlands a whole country or is it an area? I need help. Our lockdown should be ending new months. Hopefully, Lucy, let's hope for you. I'm gonna use all my energy on making sure that your lockdown ends. Thank you, Maya. Denmark, is that different than the Netherlands, Ludwig? Correct me. Educate me. I am not good at geography. We'll see what Boris says on the 22nd. I feel bad you guys still got Boris. Um, I will definitely check later your whisper, Blair. Don't worry. I won't forget it. My friends hate it so much it's so funny. <laughs> I say y'all and I'm not even from the USA. I think that's fine. I like it. Um, Netherlands is a country. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You live in Denmark. Thank you. I get confused. I always, I don't know why I always think the Netherlands is like a, a area that encompasses like five countries. Why do I think that? Yeah, look at a map and see where it is. Thanks, Ludwig. <laughs> Born and raised Scotland, moved to Massachusetts for college, but moving to another state for a new college I'm transferring to. That's so exciting. That's pretty fun. I do, um, real quick. I, I don't, I'm curious. I want to see what what school you're going to. Oh, nice. Fun, Blair. That's awesome. 
It's looking positive from all the news and the press conferences I've heard. Well, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for you because I really do hope that you are able to um, go see your boyfriend again and not be in lockdown. It's so crazy. Like, so Lucy, how you said I'm, it's like Amsterdam. I, I know of Amsterdam. Yes. Um, I don't know why I always get it confused. Um, like Lucy, you're in lockdown. So like you can't go see your boyfriend. Is that because of lockdown or is that because like your families have said that? I'm just curious. Was I right the first time I'm dyslexic? Uh, you were right the first time, I think, on the two. I think you were transferring two. Yes. You're going somewhere. That kind of two is not two letters. If it's like extra in addition, that two has two O's. Because of lockdown. That's so crazy. Because like, let me tell you, when we were in lockdown, nobody, nobody did that. Nobody like didn't see their family or their friends. Like people still went and were like, I'm going to go hang out with my friends. I'm going to go hang out with my boyfriend. Like I'm going to go see my family. Like people were still co-mingling households. Um, people are still co-mingling households. But even when we were in lockdown and it's just so crazy to me because like you guys, your country is so much better. Wait. I can't believe I met ah. you on Twitch too down all the months, goo. Yay, Steph! Hello, hello, hello! Thank you for the restart, Fred! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Too much streak! I can't believe I met you on Twitch either. I can't wait to hang out with you, Steph. U.S. sucked at lockdown. The U.S. sucked, sucked at lockdown so much. It's so crazy. You can't see your friends or anyone, just people I live with and the people I work with. And, like, who enforces that? Who's in, Who is enforcing it? Like, how... How are, why are people listening? You get strict fine for it if you break the rules and potential jail time. That's so crazy. Wow, we didn't, I don't even consider what we did to be like a true lockdown. Because like people still were going places. Oh, fun, Maya. That's exciting for your friend. We do whatever we want in the US. We really do. That's so crazy. Government enforces it. We care about other people's safety. That makes a lot of sense. I don't deny that it's the correct and the right thing to do. It's just, I feel like the United States could never do that. We have too many people that are like, it's my freedom. <laughs> this is my right to go outside. <laughs> yeah, you guys are much more courteous human beings. Like the United States, I think has a too individualistic worldview. Like in the United States, it's like, you versus everybody else there's no like collective it's like you're on your own and good fucking luck because like it's rough out there and people aren't going to help you and the government's not going to help you and uh nobody people only care about them and their family they only care about them and their family that's it no one cares about anybody else and so it's just so crazy hearing about how you guys have like actual smart considerate human beings where you live and everyone here is just like i don't care i'm going out anyways you're telling me the people surrounding you give a fuck about you even though they don't directly have an impact on their lives? <laughs> no one locked down and was going to me my family so mad. I was like, stay inside, y'all. Exactly. Our president legit didn't care, right? Yes, that is true. I think that that made a big difference. If we would have had a true leader at the beginning of COVID, granted, there would have still been people who would have been like, I'm doing whatever I want. It's my right. I'm going to go not wear a mask and go to restaurants. But I think there would have been a lot less. A lot less if we had had like an actual leader who could have said this is what we need to do to make sure that people stay safe and we have less deaths uh i think that it would have been a lot better that definitely played a huge point to it is that we didn't have anybody telling people directly and succinctly and like over and over and over again stay inside wear your mask stay inside wear your mask i'm so sad you have to pay for health care me too. Care about everybody. Thank you, Ludwig. Our government haven't, hasn't made the best decisions. Now, I don't think any government has made the best decisions through COVID, but it's like, what are you supposed to do? There's no, like, pre-existing thing that can tell you how to have a pandemic. You know what I mean? Um, so, I think government's tried. It's so hard. NZ has killed it. They've kicked ass. They've really done a really good job. Still a lot of people not wearing masks. I'm sure, too, where you live. I have a friend who lives near you, Christina, and she said it's crazy out there. I don't have to pay for my meds. That's crazy. That's crazy. I couldn't imagine that. 
Imagine not paying hundreds in healthcare every month that you still have to pay down insane deductibles and co-pays at every turn. Um, my fiance and I, just for the two of us, for our health insurance, it's like over $550 a month just for two people. And every time you go to the doctor, you have to pay. Every time you get medicine, you have to pay. Every time you have a test, you have to pay. You just, oh, you only have to pay like 40% of it instead of the full 100. But it's still like $300 that you have to pay. So it's ridiculous. Our healthcare system is, Massachusetts is doing pretty good. Things like the libraries and places need to be booked in advance. Um, some coffee places are not letting you in. We should order through apps. Oh, that's cute. That's good. That's really good. The last time my family ate at a restaurant was February of 2020. That's crazy. We go out to eat at restaurants, but we always sit outside. And since we're in Arizona, we're kind of lucky because like a ton of restaurants have patios and uh, like big open outdoor spaces where some places like you can't eat outside because it's snowing. So um, and my parents also opened a bar during COVID, but it is an outdoor bar. So it's like, I don't know, it feels safer to be sitting outside. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maya. Oh, I'm so sorry, uh, Blair. We don't pay. That's like the vets here. Yes, we they treat us like animals, Dana. So much moved to Denmark. I don't think I could do the cold, Ludwig. I think the cold would keel me over. Imagine having healthcare that actually cares about us and those who can't pay, right? I know when pubs open, there, no, there's no curfews and you don't have to order food to get a drink. No, same, same, same here. I'll sit outside with social distancing. Same, same, same. Well, usually if I go out to eat, it's like with somebody that's in my bubble. So then I don't social distance from them because they're already in my COVID bubble. <laughs> but yes, I met up with a friend the other day and we went to her house that I hadn't seen in a while and just sat in the backyard, you know, far apart from each other and talked and it was really nice. Um, it's very crazy. We do curbside. We have that here. We have that here as well. Um, or takeout or delivery or whatever. Um, back in the day when COVID first started, though, you could get takeout alcohol, which was freaking sick. You could go get, um, you could go get, uh, um, like cocktails to go. Some places have rooms to book, so we pay extra for room. It's lonely when we go in and earn. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all are making me hungry. Me too. Do you know what I really am craving right now? I want hash browns. Why do those sound so good? I think when the pubs open, it will just be dry pubs at first. I think it will be a slow rollout. Hopefully, that would be good to help the, the thing. I'm about to just go get the vaccine on my own. So, Steph, 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 I signed up for a volunteer through the Maricopa Health County Department. And... I am almost going to be approved and when I get approved Steph, I can sign up other people to go volunteer and if you volunteer for eight hours they have you just doing something easy that you can do you get the vaccine so if you want me to when I get approved I can look and we could we could volunteer together and and because I haven't found anyone that wants to do it with me and I'm like it'd be way more fun to volunteer for eight hours if I had a friend so I'll hook you up and we can figure out if I'm able to register you if not I can at least send you um the thing to register yourself as a volunteer I marked myself as a non-medical volunteer so they said they might have you be like checking people in at vaccination sites or like just doing like weird menial tasks at like off-site testing and vaccine locations so you're like outside in like a parking lot and you just help people um with whatever they need um, they give you like a little job and then you get the vaccine. So I'll let you know because I really want it. I really want it. I might order some McDonald's for breakfast, but I kind of want that for dinner tonight. I love McDonald's. I love McDonald's. It's so bad. We have a weird thing about buying alcohol. Buying alcohol in the States is very weird. Some states you can't even do it on certain days. It has to be a certain time. Some states only sell 3% liquor at the grocery store. Our liquor laws are really, really weird. Um, I want some Mexican style taco. <laughs> Right, that sounds, sounds so good too. I'm so hungry already and it's only 9.15 a.m. We're about to open, but we just had a big outbreak. Oh, I'm sorry, Ludwig. Also managed to change my book in area from area of MA to the new place I'm going. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. I want to be safer this time instead of saying my location because I was stupid last time. Yes, I got you. I got you. It's fine. Numbers are getting lower here. That's fantastic. I can't do blood, but we get the vaccine before volunteering. Yes, you do. My concern is having that many exposure. Yeah, you get the vaccine um um before you volunteer i believe um and i don't think you they have you do anything medical at all unless you are like i'm a nurse so we'd just be like checking people in or telling people when my sister did it she had to just like watch people in their car for 15 minutes and like time them 
to make sure they didn't have like the biggest adverse reaction and then she'd tell them like okay you can leave and that's all she had to do was be like okay you have to stand here and wait for 15 minutes in your car and then she would tell them like okay you can leave so pretty easy um drive throughs yes yes we do have drive through everything drive through liquor stores mickey d's breakfast why does that sound so good i think i might go have to get some your chat is popping. Thank you. Thank you. We just have alcohol in our shops. I have a whole yard of Twix and I've already gone halfway through it in four days. You have a whole yard of Twix, like three feet. You have a three foot long Twix. Is that what I, is that what I'm hearing you say? You seriously have a three foot long Twix or is it like this big? Is it a giant Twix? Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Both before you volunteer or just a person? I'm not 100% sure, but I would assume that they would give you both, right? They, they want you to be safe. Um, Senate is a good, Sentate is a good CC creator. Um, that's good to know. It's 11, 16 a.m. here. I'm Jelly. I wish it was 9 a.m. again. I love Toontown. Me too, Maya. The, I really want to know about your three foot long Twix. It's three foot long. That's insane. And you've already eaten half it in four days. That's pretty good. You need a gap though, right between them. It's a box that has 18 full-size Twix bars. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Um, I don't drink energy drinks, Maya. I don't, I have a really, because I was on Adderall for so many years, uh, my heart rate is really high. So I don't like to drink energy drinks because then it makes my heart rate even higher. And I don't like that. drive through pharmacy drugstores was the strangest thing when I moved to the States because that doesn't normally happen in the UK. Never mind Scotland. Oh, I want a three foot Mexican taco so bad. I really want a three foot Mexican taco. Oh, I want all the food right now. What I really want though is McDonald's breakfast. I really want McDonald's breakfast. I would eat it in one day. You would eat it in one day, Ludwig, on the Twix. <laughs> um, I don't drink those either. Hello, Justine. Welcome, welcome. I thought I missed a question. Did Dana ask me something? Did I miss a question? What, you need a gap though between them. What was that about, Dana? I don't remember. I don't remember what you were saying. You want the KFC pizza? Wait, you guys have pizza at KFC? I don't think we have that. Um, Steph, I know my fiance and my roommate have been getting the spicy nugs, but I haven't tried them yet. I'll have to give it a shot. I don't actually think I've had tacos. Blair? No tacos? You haven't had tacos? You haven't ever had tacos. Blair, if we meet in person, I'm getting you some tacos. Taco Bell is not tacos. Taco Bell is not tacos. <gasps> it's good. It's good. But it's not a true taco. I don't think... My dad and I got Taco Bell yesterday. I love Taco Bell so much. But, like, if you want, like, a true taco... Steph, help me. Taco Bell is not a taco. It is, it is a <laughs> kind of taco. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Thank you for the stickers, friends. <laughs> um, no, it's from Pizza Hut. Wait, KFC Pizza from Pizza Hut. You don't have Taco Bell. It's okay. It's, not, it's you're not missing out on that much. I promise you. If you ever meet a person, we should have McDonald's breakfast and bike ride. I would love that. KFC Pizza. I'm confused. I'm confused too. It's a KFC Pizza, but it's from Pizza Hut. What is on it, Dana? I actually got two of them this year, one for Christmas and one for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, do you love Twix? Is that your favorite candy gaming van? We need to get you Taco Stat. Yes. Oh, you could make your own. I wonder if you guys could get the spices. I wonder if you could get the spices. Blair, your best takeout place for tacos is going to be a place that that is just some little hole in the wall Mexican restaurant. Just go to Spanish Town if you have one near you. Any Anywhere you could find a Mexican restaurant that's like this big and it's tiny and go order tacos. Taco Bell is not real tacos, but it is good, Sig. I do not knock that it is delicious. KFC, also delicious. Nashville hot chicken, mmm, mmm. Mm. Does anybody have Shake Shack where you live? Because they have a a um, Nashville hot chicken sandwich and it is to die for. Oh, bye, Justine. Thank you for coming to say hello. We love you. Appreciate you. Fry a corn tortilla. Make some meats. Now, Steph, you, you real simplified make some meats. I would like to argue that make some meats is a lot more difficult than just make some meats <laughs> if you want it to be right. But then, yes, add white onion and cilantro and you're good to go. I'll send you a picture. Okay, thank you, Dana. 
What state are you in? Fuck, I wish I could mail you some. I'll make them on stream with you. That's so cute. That's so cute. Also, yes, you guys need to, if you're not already following um, Steph, she streams and she's hysterical and funny and really nice and nice, happy place. So please go hang out. Happy Friday. Don't know if the boys told you, but y'all are invited to a little game night tonight if you want to come. Was that the one that Trey said such close notice? I heard him on, I heard him on games yesterday. He was talking to you and he said, uh, such short notice. Was that what it was for? <laughs> I would like to come to game night. I think it'd be fun. I'll try and talk them into it, Bri. We'll see if we can do. You need to go to a taco truck. Yes, that is another great option if you have taco trucks. Um, I'll send you a spice pack. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute if I could make like a taco spice pack and you, we could sell it stuff to, to all of our UK friend disease. Which state are you going to? I'll find you a place in both states. I love you, Steph. <laughs> Ludwig, we need to get all of you guys tacos. Oh, I'm so sorry for you that you've never had tacos. See, me and Steph live in Arizona. We are literally four hours from Mexico. Tacos are in our blood. So it's so sad to me that you haven't had tacos. <laughs> Twix and M&Ms are my two favorite candies. Do you like regular M&Ms or fancy ones or peanut or peanut butter? Hello, Kaylee. Hi, friend. Good morning. Hello. Uh, Ludwig, do you like, I mean, sorry, not Ludwig. It was gaming fan. Um, do you like fancy M&Ms or do you just like the plain ones? I can buy a taco kit in stores and make it in the community kitchens. Um, you should try that. I bet the taco kits are probably pretty decent. The meat is probably marinated and stuff. You can't talk about hot chicken without mentioning Monroe's. I've never been to Monroe's. El Camino, yummy. Mm -hmm. Not saying place on here. Whisper me if you want. Okay, cool, cool. Um, don't forget the refried beans with queso. I love beans. I don't know. I don't know, Steph. That's what I was for. Text me and enjoy your stream. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you. You guys also, wait, hello. I'm a big dummy heck. If you guys like to watch League of Legends or you just want to watch somebody who's really funny and chill, my friend Brian also streams. He is my IRL friend, like my real life friend. Like we have been friends since we were like 15. So give him a follow. He's really awesome. He's funny. He will make you laugh. Make sure you go in there and you can fuck with him if you want and say hi and uh, he's a really funny guy, so please go check him out. He's great. You got to do your own tortillas. You got to do your own tortillas, though. You do got to do your own tortillas. My favorite M&Ms are regular caramel and crispy. Ooh, I love peanut and peanut butter. You should have Taco Bell tonight. Taco Bell is so good. Making me drool over here with all this food talk. I know. I'm dying in the best way. Okay, Steph has a solid. Bruh best story ever when I first met my husband uh, I wanted to make him tacos and he was adamant that he had the hard shell pre-packed tacos I'm sorry what those are not tacos somebody if I ever go to somebody's house and they pull out a hard shell I'm like I'll eat them because they're tasty but that's not a traditional taco also ground beef not in it not a traditional taco anyways okay those things sat in our pantry for three years because he refused to eat any other taco shells than the ones that I make. That is amazing. You fry your own corn tortillas because that's what my fiance's mom does and they're the bomb. I also go to a Mexican restaurant across the street from my house and they have crispy home fried taco shells. So like you can get a crispy taco, but it's literally the flour tortilla fried and it's so good. It's so good. Hello, Allie. Stream has gone good. We've just been chatting. I, I have Sims hold up, but we're just having the best time chatting today. So fun. It's only 1030. And I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Me too. It's 925 for me and I'm normally not hungry this early. If you eat Taco Bell tonight, try their nacho fries. Ooh. Peanut and caramel is the best m and I think all M&Ms are good. Okay, Blair, I'm putting down the Snorlax because I'm getting a little hot. I got to move my heater and he's sitting right on my lap. Okay. Um, we recently switched to white corn. That sounds so good. I'm going to eat lunch soon and now I'm going to be extra hungry. <laughs> I've had those before when I was on a road trip. Oh, fun. The stream is making me hungry. Me too, Kaylee. I'm sorry. We started talking about food. When they first came out, I was working at Taco Bell, so I ate all that I could get a hold of. I was meant to be out meeting with a friend socially distanced, but my car wouldn't start, and I found out that the battery is dead. Oh, no. Can you jump it? Do you have a family member's car that you can use to jump it? I have an old car. Well, 
I don't drive it right now. I in all through college I drove a really old car. It's a 1990 Ford Bronco. It's really awesome. I love it. It's my beast. But it always, always died on me. Batteries in Arizona, since it's so hot, they like don't last as long as other places. Um, like a battery that says it'll last two years here will last like a, a year. Or if you buy like a five year battery, it'll last like three years. Um, Cause it's the temperatures are so hot. So yeah, my car battery always died on me. So I had to get used, to, I had to get really used to carrying jumpers in my car always and then just like asking strangers because I'd get like stuck at a store and I'd have to go like walk around the parking lot and be like help me somebody drive my car <laughs> luckily I knew how to do it myself though so I didn't actually need anybody's help but I could do it I just needed their car so that I had the car to jump it 427 right now Lucy that's so crazy it's only 927 for me 1127 for a gaming fan Yep, my windshield wipers never work. They, they, you have to get new ones like every monsoon season, um, and and like right at the start of monsoon season, get new ones, and then by the end of the monsoon season, they'll be done. Except now, Kaylee, we don't even have any rain anymore. I don't know if when you lived here, you used to remember the monsoons, but we don't have monsoons anymore. They're just gone. They're just gone. It's crazy. We got like two rainstorms this year, I think, and they've been pushed like. We've been getting rain like into winter. It's so weird. It's so weird. But you guys have seen what's happening with global warming. I mean, we've all seen what's going on in Texas right now. The polar vortex has literally just lowered, which is terrible uh, because our whole Arctic is melting. I mean, yeah, melting, which is really bad. I feel that I have a lot of battery trouble. Yeah, I think if you live in a place with extreme weather, it causes battery problems, whether it's extreme heat or extreme cold or fluctuations in temperature, it definitely um, causes you to have battery problems. I think we're gonna need a stream of the best Mexican taco you can find. Oh my gosh, I can do that. I can do that. Steph, we need to do like a co-stream. Let's both get vaccinated so we can hang out. So we can do like a taco eating stream at your house. I wanna eat tacos. I, I can think, I have great tacos. Let's plan it for real for it, let's do it. Do you know how to co-stream, Steph? Oh, we could do that. Do you know how to co-stream? Like, do you know how to stream like for while we're at our respective houses? You do, because that would be fun. That would be fun. Came for Sims and stayed for the food chat. Yes, Um. do we want to tour my build? I have it ready. Do we want to, oh, apparently I don't have it ready. I had it ready. It's ready now. Do we want to tour my purple fun collab? I never saw the Sims streams. <laughs> Look at this. Do you see this? This horrendous. You guys, this is so ugly. I can't even. This is the worst thing I've ever built in my entire life. I hate it so much. I hate it so, so, so much. It hasn't started yet. Yes, Blair. <laughs> okay, Steph, we're going to have to talk about co-streaming and we're going to have to get some tacos. And we'll do like a taco rating. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. playing sims but we're just gonna look at the uh build that i've made i did a collab build um oh okay we'll have to check that out thank you siren i've seen people do it my camera is inverted it is inverted because do you know why i did that on purpose so previously i was looking this way so it like didn't make sense that i was looking this way because the screen's that way so I switched it so that now I'm looking at the screen. Does that make sense? Does that, does it, is it bothersome? Do I look backwards now? Does it look backwards from this? Ah, that's so funny. I switched, I'm backwards. Hello, hello. I struggle with that too on my stream. It bugs me. I saw a TikTok about it. They, some guy was like, switch your camera so that you're looking at the game screen. And I was like, wow, doy. I should have done that. No, that's so cute. She gave me the baby kitten eyes. I can't be mad at her. That's adorable. Not cool, just confused. I've had to mirror my webcam like that exactly. I was like, oh, I should have done this. So, okay, the collab, look at this crappy neighborhood. The collab was to build something purple. So 
I try to find a happy medium for looking at the camera when I look at chat. So I have noticed, I love looking at the camera because for me, when I look at the camera, it feels like I'm talking directly to you guys. Like it feels more like I'm looking at you. Does that make sense? So I like to look at the, at the camera. Um, and, um, it, I notice a lot of people don't. A lot of people just sit like this the whole time and they're like, hey guys, how's it going? What's up? And I don't know. I'm, wow, you're looking at me. <laughs> I'm looking right in your soul. So yeah, it. Uh, I like looking at the camera, but I've noticed a lot of people do not do that. Um, don't look at the camera. So here we go. The purple fun collab. It's so bad, people. Please, please don't hate me for this. But it is, I guess it's cute because it's purple. So we've got a nice little hangout, this pretty tree with some lights this I tried to do a mid-century house but it, it's oh I just hate it so much I'm gonna rebuild this house without purple and do it justice um, we've got a little deck little hangout area um, how do I make this go faster shift 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 it's not working make a random point redeem I will I used to get mad confusing when my hair was more obviously split dye oh so I'd have my hair and my face off to the side and try to reach to that direction that always throws me off I'm always like ah what side is my hair on um okay so yes like I said I made everything in this house purple so this is the front when you walk in cute little living room I started off making it a tiny house and then I decided I didn't want it to be a tiny house because it was too restrictive but everything is purple so yes purple living room Come over here. We've got the cute little purple kitchen. I went I went crazy with the purple, okay, friends? Went crazy with the purple. Come over here. I've got the cute purple bedroom. It's pastel -y purple. It's pretty cute. I like it. That's the cutest bedroom. Then you come over here. Got an office. I'm slacking so much I'm supposed to go pick up some money, but I'm too lazy. It's so cold. I feel you. I wouldn't want to go anywhere either. Um... So this is a little office area. Like, look at this atrocious wallpaper. What was I thinking? I don't know. Come in here. Got the restroom. Still purple. Got some purple accessories in here. Not all purple, but you know. Thank you, Blair. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. But it, the challenge was purple room. So we made... Oh, this one's so bad. We made purple rooms. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. It's so, it's so terrible. But is purple so and then I'll show you we'll go over here this way if you go out into the backyard we have a little walkway for the cars with the driveway in the back and this pretty little pond I love doing ponds with mid-century houses I don't know why it just feels right so we gave them a little pond with their little garage area then if you go over here sneaky sneak they've got a whole beach hangout spot with the fire pit and the grill and the lawn chairs and a little tiny purple pool it's a little tiny pur purple pool <laughs> you're not alone do not worry <laughs> we share your pain so yes this is the uh purple fun collab from me which i think is just okay i really don't like purple so i look at this and i'm just like ugh ugh but it's okay because it's for the collab. I do love the pond. I really am for sure going to rebuild this house and just make it, give it its full, full worthy thing. For chat! For chat! For chat! Um, okay, friends. Hi, friends. If you're new here, Dana just redeemed a positivity shower, which means that positivity shower means that I just shower the chat with positivity. When you redeem a positivity shower, you can... Um, oh, I, hi, Leah. I will check it out. Um, when I do a positivity shower, when you redeem one, you can pick who you want it to be for. For someone in chat, for me, for all of chat, whatever. This one's for all of chat. So here we go. Friends. I feel like I always say the same things in these, so I apologize. It's hard for me to think of new ideas, but friends, I just want you to know, you are amazing, beautiful, strong human beings who are all worthy of love and respect and kindness. Just that's the first thing you gotta remember that, okay, friends? And I know that we're in a very difficult year and there's a lot of really hard things that everyone's having to deal with. 
Um, but I just want you to hang in there and stay strong and just, this is a time that we can focus on our survival. So if maybe if we're not in the best home situation right now, or we're having to be in lockdown with people that we would not want to be in lockdown with, um, or maybe we're having adverse weather and it's affecting us, just remember that everything is temporary. Um, we're going to get through this. You're much stronger than you, than you feel that you are. Um, and I know, I know deep down that we can all handle whatever life throws our way okay we've got this amazing community of people to lean on each other and support one another and talk about what's going on in our lives and make sure that we're all doing okay so i love you all thank you for being here every day and chatting and being vulnerable and being your true selves and i'm just really thankful so thank you thank you thank you um I love teal so much, would love to challenge myself with a teal build, but there won't be many options. There was not a lot of purple options. There probably is the equal amount of teal options as there was purple. 242 points left before you need to go find the cat. How long do we get the cat once you find? It's usually not very long. A couple minutes, we'll snuggle him. Depending on how he feels, sometimes he might want to snuggle and then I'll let him snuggle. And sometimes he does not want to snuggle. Hold on, let me take a shot. I love it, Christina. Purple's your favorite color, Dana. Thank you, Ludwig, thank you. You guys should definitely check it. Worth the investment, I'll take the risk. I love it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Blair. I'm, I'm glad that you are here. I'm glad that all of you are here, okay? I, I'm at 13K, Dana. I love it. 13K. Okay, the other thing that I was going to do is should we look at some of the other Purple Fun collabs? Although, Leah, Leah, what's your gallery ID? I'll tour your build. I will tour your build. Leah, if you want to tell me what your gallery ID is, um, we will tour it. <laughs> but first... Let's see if there's other purple fun collabs on the gallery. We'll see. Attempting to connect. Hashtag. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh, Nerdith. Okay, hers is a 30 by 20. Let's place it somewhere. 30 by 20, 30 by 20. Let's put it, let's put it here. Okay, we're gonna tour that one. We got two two builds on the gallery to tour, and then we can tour we can tour some of your guys's too. I don't know what Crampton is. What is Crampton? Is it a liquor or is it like a herbal medicinal thing? Because for a while in high school, I tried to do like ADHD herbal stuff and take like these herbal supplements, and they were so gross. They were so gross. Yeah, what the heck? That burglar was so mean to her, and I was like, excuse me. Yes, we can talk. I definitely have some free time, Christina, for sure. Um, I don't understand, Dana, why that person was so mean to Tanya. People started making, like, Sims 2 parody accounts, and somebody made an account for the burglar, and she, like, tweeted how she thought the accounts were, like, kind of dumb, and the person, like, attacked her the way she looked. It was like, okay. If you're going on the internet, I just gotta say real quick, friends... If you are going on the internet when somebody makes you mad and you're attacking them for for how they look or anything, you're a, not a nice person. So don't do that. Please don't do that. You should never, ever, ever say something to somebody about how they look. It's, it's really not nice. Even saying stuff about, like, compliments sometimes about how people actually look can be weird. Like compliment something about them i always tell people to compliment compliment okay christina that's fine compliment um um like what you like about them as a person that's the best way to compliment somebody so like tell them like you're so funny you're so strong i come off creepy too i definitely feel you steph there's been times where i'm like oh People on the internet don't know that I'm, like, uh, who I am, you know? For instance, uh, a girl on my podcast, her name is Sarah Robot Giggles. Um, I can beat someone up. Um, a girl on my podcast, her name is Robot Giggles, a.k.a. Sarah. She streams, and um, she said that one time she went into a girl's chat on Twitch, and she was just like, wow, I really love your tattoos. <laughs> 
and she said the girl like freaked out on her and was like stop coming in here and she was like whoa like like i'm so sorry like i just literally was trying to say that i liked her tattoos and i thought that was hysterical i thought that was really really funny so it's hard on the internet because oh you know what I don't have Realm of Magic, so like all the windows are gone. That's really sad. Oh, it's not a full cute house. Okay, we won't do a full tour. We'll just look at it real quick. Let's look at the outside. All the she had a bunch of really cute stained glass windows. They are missing because I do not have Realm of Magic. Um, but I love this cute little patio. Oh, this is adorable. There should be a really cute door, but like I said, I do not have Realm of Magic. Oh, I love this. It's like a vintage -y glamour type of apartment. This is really cute. I'm sad I don't have all the things, but I still think that's really cute. Nice job, Tanya. That's really, really cute. I can see all the doors missing, but it's adorable. Oh, yes. Copy this. Okay. Go back to the world here. Yes, it's fine. We'll leave it. There is CC. Is there a lot of CC? People get so defensive when you can when you can talk about legs. That is really weird. It is it's so weird that. But I get if that girl who had like, she like banned the girl from her chat. I get it if she had like had a bunch of people come in and talk about her tattoos and she was like over it. But at the same time, it's still I was like, that's yeah, uh, it's I don't get it. Can we try this again? Okay, well, we'll then. We'll go look at Leah's build. Oh, the gallery not working? Okay, maybe we won't. I can try if it will work. Let's get rid of this. Hello, Philippa. How are you doing, my sweet friend? I hope that you are doing good. Is that the right thing? Am I spelling it right, Leah? Ludwig, what is your gallery ID? Let's try yours. Do I already follow you? Chat can be super protective. <laughs> she said she had long legs and I said, all I said was you should totally embrace that and show them bitches off. I didn't mean now. I got you, dude. I feel like Loki being ADHD, sometimes I go online and, um, she's still not letting me search for her ID though. Try all caps. Okay, hold on. Okay. Which one did you want me to tour, friend? Which one did you want me to tour? I think you follow me. I do. I think I do too, but I don't. You'll have to tell me what it is so I can just search you. Oh, good to hear you're doing great. And you've been playing Sims all day. That's the most fun. Steph, what I was going to say is I feel like when it comes to being ADHD online, sometimes my brain just like says things that I think are fine and they're not. And, um, I'm like, how do I, I don't mean to be not so nice. You know what I mean? It just happens. I just say weird shit sometimes not on purpose. And it's just what happens. <laughs> like, sorry. I didn't mean to say something weird sometimes online. It comes across differently. If you know what I mean. Ooh, and the not so berry family. Okay. I don't want to go to work. I'm sorry, Christina. I don't want to go to work either. <laughs> I don't want to go to work at all. We hate work. Someone outside walking their dog and their baby. That's so cute. As they let the dog pee on the neighbor's yard. That's not so cute. But, you know, what are you going to do? I ask people what the point of something is, but they think it's rude, and I just want to know the reason behind it. Yeah, I have found that sometimes people don't read me well online, and I'm like... I swear I have really good intentions. I just, words are hard and I don't phrase things well, as always. You're most proud of the apartment. Okay, Ludwig, we will check it out. 
we will check it out. I wish that we could, I had Realm of Magic so I could see a little bit better of Nerdit's build. <sighs> I feel the same way as you. Yes, sometimes I'm just a little awkward or weird and I don't mean to be. That's why I love all of you guys because we can all be like, hey, we know we're a little weird sometimes and we might say the words wrong, but I'm not gonna kick you out of my chat or make you feel ostracized or anything like that. <gasps> this is so cute. Why won't it let me go down? Words are hard. I actually have a stream sticker that says that. Um, I love this so much. This is so cute, Sig. This is adorable. A cute little starter home for a family. Oh, I love the open concept. Looks like we got two kids rooms. So adorable. So cute. I'm assuming these are bedrooms and then open concept for the rest, which is so beautiful. I love it. So stinking cute. What else did you say, family? This one? I'm weird and I know it. So I wish someone could come over and drive me to pick up this money. You made me sing money when you did that. Money, 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 money. Money. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. Noah, Ruby, Roxy, Jackson, Sierra. She's so cute. Look how adorable they are. I love them. Are those twins? Hello, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Are those twins? Those are so cute. I love their CC outfits so much. Those are literally adorable. Um, if I could, if I could, Christina, I would definitely, I would definitely uh, drive you if I could. Okay, Ludwig, which one did you want me to look at? Wow, Ludwig, you got some really nice ones. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Ludwig, I'm digging this one. I already saw this and commented on it. Oh, wow. Um, Ludwig, which one did you want us to like place down though? Let me know. This is really pretty too. I like this a lot, Ludwig. Way to go. I wanted to ask about the sub book, but didn't want to sound rude. It's a problem. Dana, it's okay, Dana. You can ask me anything. Are you talking about me though? Dana, yours is right here already. You're on the front page. I don't know if you can see this. I need to pull my camera up real quick so I can see. You're right there. Dana Soar is on the first page with, with Steph and Allie, Justine, Brian, Trey, Katie, my sister, my dad. Oh, you're too wild and weird. You know, it's hard to find friends. I don't even have a lot of friends in person that I like associate with. I need to fix. There we go. My friends in person, I don't hang out with that much and I don't, and I don't. I, okay, you're fine, Dana. I will tell you. So, Pokemon cards, when you get them, have these things called energy, which is just like for the, playing the game. Um, so you get a ton of these cards. Some of them are hollow, some are not. You get a ton of these cards when you buy Pokemon cards, like a lot of them. Like my fiance and roommate probably have a thousand of these. So I just thought that it would be fun. I saw a girl who did this with the energy cards, that it would be fun to just like, some people will write cards with people's names and stuff like that. But I thought it'd be fun to just put people's names on these and put them in the book. And then you stay in there forever. So I have a record of you and it has the day that you first subbed, which is so fun. Um, did Ludwig say anything? No. Okay, we'll wait on loot. Oh. My Sims 4 decided to freeze. Hello, Trey. Hi, Trey. Oh, those are cool emotes. Is that... Oh, Alex. I like that. Did you get gifted a sub to Alex? That's nice. Do you match the energies? I... So I do them in pages of nine because there's nine energy cards. So each page has one of each energy card. Does that make sense? So each page has all nine all nine and then this page has all nine and these pages have all nine so I actually filled them in I filled in everybody's um, oh you choose I said okay well my sims game is frozen I filled in everybody's already so I have a, a decent chunk in here like these are all filled out so they have people's names on them so exciting and fun my goal is by the end of the year to get it finished to get it totally filled out there's 360 slots in here that i have cards in let's cross our fingers 
we're already at 60. I don't know if we'll make it. We'll, we'll see. Um, so my Sims game froze. So um, unfortunately, I will not be doing any more tours because the whole game is frozen. So we're going to go to just chatting and we will hang out. Um, I want to be a Pokemon. <laughs> Um, rip. It is rip. It's rip. My game froze. So we're just going to chat. I got like nine more minutes, so I got to go to work and we can just hang out. Um, sorry, Ludwig. I apologize. I, I will definitely tour your build next time. Don't worry. I like doing tour build streams, so, um, we can definitely do tour some more of your builds more often. I would love to see some of your guys' creations. Super fun. I wish my Sims game was working, but it's not. So it is what it is. My computer has been struggling with Sims today. There are three of them on my Simstagram. You have a Simstagram, Ludwig? I didn't know that. I want to see. What's your Simstagram? Because you're... Yeah, you're regular Instagram you don't post sims on. What's your simstagram? Ludwig, tell me. I gotta follow you. Oh, I should do a tour of my build reward. I That's a great idea, Dana. I can do that. I can definitely do that. I think that's a smart, smart idea. You follow me. I follow you. What is your username? What is it? Focus Sims. Oh, I didn't know that was you. Did I know that was you? I love the Japanese houses. You did a really good job on those, Ludwig. And I love your tree house. That's really cute. Really adorable. Your eco apartment is really nice. Wow. Nice job, Ludwig. You're a talented builder. Oh, the fourth denial. Hello, friend. How are you doing today? Welcome to the Fluffy Friends. I really can, I really like, I can relate to everyone here. I love you all. Thank you, Christina. I'm glad you're here. We love you too. I have to get rid of my diffuser reward because I plugged my heater in instead. I got rid of my diffuser a while ago. I don't even know where it is, Dana. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, but I have so many things plugged in here under my desk. Far too many things. I have a build tour of a house I built for my super sim household. Ooh, Hannah, upload it to the gallery so that next time I do build things we can um look at it we can look at it um oh ludwig thank you you know what i always say if you want to be a good builder here's what you got to do build 10 hours no spend like 20 hours a week building and then you will be a good builder like after a year that's what i did i became obsessed with building and just spent like a long time building every day and just like learned tips and tricks. So we were touring houses, uh, the fourth denial, but my Sims game decided to freeze and it's about time for me to get off. So I just called it a day with the Sims cause the game froze and, um, but we were touring builds. We toured the purple collab houses. Well, we toured my purple fun collab and one other person's purple fun collab. Um, but yes, the game said not today. So I said, okay, it's fine. We'll chat. We love chatting here. We, uh, chat a lot here. It's kind of like, um, um, just what we do. We like to chat. Thank you for the biddies. I think I'm going to have to move to AC. I've been trying to talk my boyfriend into it. It's really nice out here and the cost of living is very low. I don't know if it's as cheap as Kentucky cause I know cost of living out there is pretty affordable, but cost of living here is very low too. Uh, my computer is freaking out. Oh no, Ludwig, I'm sorry. Is it sound like a rocket ship? Its fan is going because that happens to my computer sometimes too. The fan goes crazy and it sounds like it's taking off. I don't post anything on my gallery. I only have an apartment I'm really proud of. I thought, um, do I follow you already, Sig, on the gallery? I'm so sorry, the fourth denial. We wish you could have seen it too. It was pretty cute. It was fun. Um, but yes, my game is still frozen. So that's exciting. Oh, thank you for the follow, friend. Welcome to the Fluffy Friends. My name is Braylon, just so you know, and I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7.30 a.m. Pacific, 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 3.30 p.m. GMT. So welcome welcome to the fluffy friends we are a nice friendly community here um we are open to talking about mental health if you're having a hard day you can say it in this chat if you're struggling with something you can say it in this chat um we are just a nice group of people who want everyone to feel better so 
Um, I think my sister is my only follower. Nope, I just hope it doesn't have a virus. Yes, me too, me too. Everyone, you are amazing. Thank you, Christina. I hope each of you have a good day, and if you need to talk, you can whisper me. You are so sweet. Thank you, Christina. That is like a prime example of what our community is about um, here. We are a very nice little tight-knit group of people who um, all really want to make sure we're all doing okay, and it's really sweet, and everybody cares about one another, and it's a very nice place to be. Um, oh, thank you. This is a very nice, this is a very nice place. That's all I gotta say. Very nice place. I love your community name, the Fluffy Friends. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one. The Dinos, the Dana Dinos. That'd be cute, because dinosaur, dinosaur. The dinos, welcome to the dino squad. Something like that would be really cute, Dana, I think. You could just go full dinosaurs. Um, oh, you ruined your old computer with CC ups. Oopsies, that's not good. CC ruining your computer, that's so poopy. Uh, I'm really good at fixing broken computers. So if you have a computer, well, I should say, I'm good at, I'm good at um, fixing iMacs, a Mac, if, if it's broken. Um, like, I had a friend whose computer wouldn't turn on and I fixed it for her. Um, but I know nothing about PCs. <laughs> I cannot, I don't, I'm like, oh, this is like a foreign language for me. I do not know what I am doing. I do not know how to do anything. I guess I just have to force quit The Sims, which is so sad. It is what it is. Origin's not even showing as open. I don't even know what's happening. My computer is just not doing the things it's supposed to. Anyways, we are going to go find somebody to raid. Thank you, friends, for such a lovely stream today. Um, I'm sorry we didn't get to play any community games. We'll be doing that next week for sure. More Jackbox. Um, oh, do, okay, we got Happy Stars online again. Should we find somebody else that's new? Do you think? I like finding new people. Let's go to Sims 4. Okay, friends, I just wanna say again quickly, 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 just so you beautiful people know, um, you know that I am very open to talking about mental health on here, and I'm okay if you all talk about mental health on here too, but most streamers on Twitch do not like to talk about mental health. So I just wanna warn you, if, and I just say this again, if the streamer does not have a mental health tag and I will tell you when we raid someone, oh yay, um, welcome for denial. Um, I'll tell you when we raid someone if they're mental health friendly or not, but if they're not a mental health friendly stream, please don't, you know, try not to bring up, I know it's hard because you're so used to doing it in my stream, but just respect people's rules. Um, a lot of people don't wanna talk about mental health because they just wanna like have a fun time on their stream. So just keep that in mind. Please respect other streamers rules. If if they do not have the mental health tag, um, please do not go in there and say, I feel really down today, unfortunately, because some people just don't like that. And I apologize that you know I'm I'm here for you and we love it in this chat, but just um, not everybody does. And I try to keep people, I try to find peeps that have the mental health tag for you all because I think that's important. Um, so yes, we are actually gonna go raid this person here. Let me just open up their stream real quick. They're playing Sims 4 and they have a mental health tag. So we can go in there and hopefully they will be a nice, lovely human. Um, they have not, oh, they are affiliate. Their name is Sandy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go see, okay. We're gonna go raid Sandy. The Sandy Devil. We will give them a raid. Um, the other thing I wanna mention is if you don't mind, if you wanna follow, just because it makes the raid really fun, um, if you want to follow them and then unfollow them later, that is fine. Um, it just like adds a lot of funness to the raid when we all follow. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you feel like it, it would be awesome if you wanted to follow. If not, you're fine. Thank you for the raid message. Yes, yes, yes. We do have our raid message. If you are a sub, you can pop some um, emotes at the end of there. I love dolphins, so mine would be, ooh. The names for your community are hard to come up with. I have such a weird name, but I can't come up with anything for it. I'm going to have to make sure I check you out, Fourth Denial. Um, um, I'll be back on Monday. Yay. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy. I have next week off, so I will be in the Wednesday stream this week. Yay, Dana. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. Um, it, don't forget, you get 250 channel points if you raid, so that is fun. Um, get extra channel points. Steph should be able to get there. Uh, go save the cat. 
and um, don't forget, be nice. Um, you guys are always nice. I don't know why I had to tell you that. Um, I love y'all. Have a good weekend. I might do something fun. Check the Discord. I've been posting in there more often. I'm going to be using it to update you guys and talk to you guys more. So if you're not in the Discord, send me a whisper and I'll send you an invite link. I love you all. Let's go have a great raid. And um, thank you again for a lovely stream. If you need anything, you can reach out to me. And I hope y'all have an amazing weekend. Okay, friends? Mwah. Bye.